Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 435. Vagal Nuclei. What is Nucleus Solitarius? Nucleus Solitarius is a series of nuclei forming a vertical column of gray matter embedded in the medulla oblongata. What is the function of Nucleus Solitarius? The function of Nucleus Solitarius is to receive visceral sensory information such as taste, baroreceptor, and gut distension. What cranial nerves provide input to the Nucleus Solitarius? The cranial nerves that provide input to the Nucleus Solitarius includes cranial nerve 7, 9, and 10. Cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve, cranial nerve 9 is the glossopharyngeal nerve, and cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. What is the function of nucleus ambiguous? The function of nucleus ambiguous is to provide motor innervation of pharynx, larynx, and the upper esophagus for swallowing and palate elevation. What cranial nerves provide input to the nucleus ambiguous? The cranial nerves that provide input to the nucleus ambiguous includes cranial nerve 9 and cranial nerve 10, so that's glossopharyngeal nerve and the vagus nerve. What is the function of the dorsal motor nucleus? The function of dorsal motor nucleus is to send autonomic parasympathetic fibers to the heart, lungs, and the upper GI. What cranial nerves provides input to the dorsal motor nucleus? The cranial nerve that provides input to the dorsal motor nucleus is cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus nerve. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that nucleus solitarius is for sensory information and nucleus ambiguous is for motor innervation? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember that nucleus solitarius has that S for solitarius and S for sensory, whereas nucleus ambiguous, ambiguous has M in it, and that's for motor innervation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.